Now we just gotta weld the back head plate and all the sides together. The hardest part about this entire thing is making sure these are perfectly uh, lined up with each other in regards to distance. So by the time we install it on the helmet, it's going to have the same thickness or width in the front and back. And now we check. Yep. Alrighty guys, that's it for this episode. Next upload, I will be finishing up the face part and see if we can attach some servos or at least get the general location of where we're going to be putting them. My idea is to kind of go off the Iron Man where it has two servos right here and the arm bar is going up. So the helmet faceplate can actually come up and around if I have a connecting bar that helps the uh, traversing of that and the sides it's going to be basically the same thing I'm going to have a plate plate and then a plate on the top plates on the sides will be able to open up and pull back revealing the entire face while the whole things down any impact or blunt force will be taken by these points there's plenty of space around the helmet that my head will be in for the electronics and motors so we'll make it work and uh, tune in for next week, and you guys have a good day.